Good afternoon. Well, great news today for the thousands of BC kids born with diabetes and who have to inject themselves with insulin many times a day. Well, CBC's Tim Weeks has the details for us. He joins us live from a World Diabetes Day event just getting underway downtown. Tim? Down at the Art Gallery, it is World Diabetes Day. The international symbol is a blue circle, which may look a lot like a blue hula hoop. So that's exactly what people are doing here. They're, it's the 14th, so they're trying to keep the hula hoops going for a full 14 seconds. Now, earlier, Premier Campbell was also giving a shot at it, and as well as trying to keep the hula hoop going for 14 seconds, he was also making an announcement, and that is the funding of insulin pumps for children. Lloyd Lyle may seem like he's used to all the attention. He was also used to a lot of pain and inconvenience that come with all the injections and blood tests involved in having juvenile diabetes. So this, even though you only put in a huge needle every three days, not only does it give you way more control, but it's a lot less painful. Lloyd is not alone. In fact, almost two and a half million Canadians have some form of diabetes. For children with type 1 diabetes, that can mean 2,200 finger pokes per year for blood tests, almost 1,500 needles. That's a lot. And today, an announcement that the government says will make children's lives a lot easier and a lot less painful. So starting on next Monday, November the 17th, the province is going to start funding insulin pumps for eligible children with type 1 diabetes. That will... So, Tim, it's good for the kids. Uh, does it save the government any money? Well, it is certainly going to save a lot of the sufferers some money. It's estimated that uh, adults will probably save about $700 a year because of the funding for these insulin reservoirs. The devices themselves for the children can cost anywhere from five dollars to $7,000, which put them out of reach of a lot of families. The government says it's about a million and a half dollar program. But certainly they're looking at long-term savings because they say if people can't afford these kind of pumps, if they turn the try and ignore some of the problems that could lead to it. There are serious health ramifications such as blindness or amputation. So they're saying down the long run, we're going to save an awful lot more money than what they're putting into it. Interesting. Okay, thank you, Tim. Tim Weeks live outside the Vancouver Art Gallery this afternoon.